his, his explosiveness. He's here to prove Terry Martin deserves to be in this ring. A former gangland member actually got out. Not the hard way, not in a casket, didn't have to leave the country. Yeah, but still has some of that remnants of it, but he does go back and speak to as many kids as he can, uh, you know, has a master's now in psychology and working towards his doctorate. Great story. There are scars on his midsection as well from actually getting shot. When he said, I try to do the right thing and become a good guy, they didn't look too kindly on that. And of course, Vitor Belfort, most of us know his know his stories. He's had severe ups and downs throughout his career and, and his personal life. And this is really a, a testament of two guys on the right path, you know, trying to make things work for themselves while trying to be explosive and violent. Oh, nice kick by Vitor Belfort. But Terry Martin just takes it, eats it, no problem. Martin just stalking Belfort here. Looping left, obviously he has to come inside the taller Belfort. Frankie, you said we, you train with Vitor, and you were telling me that when you do train with him, it, it is it, you leave there feeling pretty groggy. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> um, what happened is I used to train with him when he was at 205, and he was a little bit slower, just as strong, but a little bit slower, and at least I could run away from him a little bit. When he got down to 185, I couldn't run from him anymore. He kept catching me every direction I went, and I got hit a lot more. It's, it's, he's really hard to, to play with. Plus, he's a left-hander like I am, so his angles of punches come at you a lot different than you expect him. Very interesting also, Randy, the natural couture in his corner, somebody he fought three times in the UFC, beat him once. Yeah, couture is, uh, uh, you know, probably one of the best corner guys to have around. The intimidation factor helps, but also his knowledge in the corner helps out as much Ooh. as well, too. Oh. Nice straight left, right down the pipe. A lot more patient beats than I've seen in the past, too. Even more patient than we see him in practice. You're saying in practice he just goes crazy? Yeah, yeah, he just opens up the floodgate. <laughs> it comes right at you. I think it's very interesting. He said, you know what, I just came here, put, you know, a thousand bucks in my pocket, came here to America, try to plant new seeds, and I want to act like I'm just a white belt. So now I'm just going to put my ego aside. Like, I've done nothing. I want to learn from people like Randy Couture, from people like Frank Trick. Smart guy, and, and it worked for him, you know. Uh, it obviously has paid off as far as weight, attitude, mental, mental ability. Now we can see it. Now we'll find out if it's physical. It's all come together as well. You know, not, let's not forget you know, Terry Martin's story. You know, like you alluded to earlier, Jay, he was trying to get out of, of the gang member life and, and trying to clean himself up and just walking down the street, going to see his mom and get shot and then realizes, hey, since I'm good at boxing, nice I'm back to boxing. Nice right there by Martin. Martin also said he trains with policemen, members of the SWAT team, mm -hmm. nothing but really law enforcement members right now. And uh, he says he does try to go back home and visit his, his family, but he has to do it very, very secret. See, this is, Vitor's doing a great job here. I mean, it's kind of to see, but what he's doing is he's staying outside of, he's so much taller than, than Terry. He's staying outside of Terry's space. Terry can't punch him because Vitor's so far away from him. So even when he throws a punch, he's really not getting caught with him. And Terry Martin likes to take people down to the ground. Talk about Vitor's submission skills from the bottom if indeed that happens. So, you know, that's the thing. You, you know, a great wrestler versus a jiu-jitsu guy, the wrestler used to win, but because the, the style has changed so much and, the, and fighters have gotten so much better, it's a lot more difficult. Uh, if, if, if Terry takes, you know, Vitor down to the ground, he's still in a lot of trouble. He hasn't has saved anything. We asked yesterday, uh, Vitor, are you the Vitor of old? He said, no, I'm the Vitor of new. But you're going to see a very aggressive Vitor of Belfort. But the great thing about him, the Vitor of old is he would just throw six, seven, eight, nine punches in a row, especially you saw what he did to Vanderlei Silva in that dismantling in yeah. 44 seconds. And, and, you know, he threw, he, I think it was like 27 punches he threw, but the uh -huh. camera only caught nine of them because his hands were so fast and everyone was flush and clean. Do you like this style of Vitor Belfort? Do you like the one you should just let it all hang out? It's it's a it's an interesting style because Terry's so powerful that if he does try to let it all hang out, Terry might clip him and put him down. It's it's more of a fighter style. It's more of a I'm, I'm now I've evolved into a mixed martial artist. This is how I win mixed martial arts fights by being this style. It's kind of what Vitor has advanced to. Terry Martin, a very exciting style. Always looking to bring the heat. Always moving forward. Looking to drop a lightning strike on you. Is this the way Vitor, when you're sparring with him, is this the style you see? Or is he more aggressive? What do you see from him much outside this ring? Much more aggressive. He, he's, he's much more aggressive in practice, keeps coming. But also, too, you remember, you, you know, you're going five, five-minute rounds, and you got a new partner every time, and it's a little bit, diff it's a little bit different situation. It's Saturday night, underneath the lights. 
Vitor's jab certainly getting through there. Looks really slick with that jab. He's also gotten that two, landed that straight left a couple of times as well. Take a look, take a look back at this kick there with uh, Vitor hit early. Nice, nice job. Get it right up underneath the rim. If you notice, it kind of came up underneath the armpit. Nice spot. Here's a nice right hand by Martin as he comes over the top. Vitor ducked out of it. It did clip him a little bit. If it was two, inch, two inches further into, into it, he would have knocked him clean. Great job. Martin stepping in, pushing through. I mean, these guys are really starting to pick their paces. You, you talk about that feeling out portion of a boxing match. We had that the first minute or so. Now we're ready to ready to make it move. I think uh, we're going to see a little bit. We can see Sean Tompkins yelling at Vitor and, and Randy. And Randy as start, well. I, they're telling him to start moving forward. They're telling him to start going. It's yeah. time to go now. You had your round of feeling yourself out. It's time to go. Again, and this is what's great about the world of mixed martial arts. Here's a guy. He's fought three times, and he is imploring one of his former foes to move forward and go in for the kill. Let's see if he listens to Randy. I certainly would. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> Great job with the angles there by Vitor. Make sure he's not standing right in front of Terry Martin. And again, the people from Extreme Couture just imploring, just yelling at Vitor to just go, let it hang out. Oh, nice uh -oh. shot there by Terry Martin with a lead hook. Caught Vitor Belfort, but Belfort comes right back with that two and a nice jab. Terry did a good job of setting by fading with a fading with a jab, and as soon as Vitor dropped his hand to block the jab, he caught him with that hook. And then Vitor smart and immediately stared his ground and started throwing back. You see though Terry Martin starting to leave his feet, getting a little frustrated trying to get in and making sure he can get a shot. Nice kick there by Bel Belfort. He struck it in the first, now strikes it in the second. I'd like to see Vitor lose a little bit more of his leg kicks. Terry Martin's going to start doing, doing some more feints like he did in that first jab, jab hook, but then feint to a takedown as well. He's got, he's got to trap him. So he's just following Vitor around the ring. He's not cutting off the ring on him. Oh. Terry Martin's going to have to, he has to, oh, nice kick there again by Vitor. You wanted to see if Frank, you got it. Terry Martin catches it, taking right down. Again, elbows are allowed here. Look for Terry to posture up, start raining down some blows, and look for Vitor to start moving a little bit from in here. But look at Vitor's guard as well, just sitting there open. Looking over to his corner. Remember, Jan, a closed guard, it's the holding position, stalling position. I can't do anything. I can't submit. I can't move. I can't escape. Nothing can happen to closed guard. All action happens with an open guard. Now, but now he puts his foot on the right, uh, on the left hip of Terry Martin. Before, the legs were just laying open. Dangling, yeah. All right, they're just yeah. dangling. Vitor just trying to keep... Working with those elbows, just working, working. Terry Martin needs to get something going here on top. Because Terry is so short, he tends to have a tighter guard, like, meaning from a top side guard, not the bottom side guard. He's very tight inside with his hips. Because he's so short, it's hard to get your feet up on his hips. It's hard to push him off. I'll say this was interesting. There you go. He trips out, gets out. Terry Martin stays with that leg. Before, Vitor shrimped out and decided not to stand up. This time, he decides to stand up, take it back up to the feet. You know, Terry Martin, next time he takes him down, Frank, obviously he has to do more than that. If you're going to get the feet on down, make him pay for it. Well, there's a couple of things that Terry needs to start to do here. One, cut off the ring. I was alluding to earlier before the takedown. Put him in a corner. Put Vito in a corner. Make him fight with his back against something that's, that's solid. You know, he's right now he's just chasing him, chasing him, chasing him. That's wasting energy. The second thing is, Jay, exactly what you said. You've got to take him down, pass his guard, and do more to Vitor if you're going to try and beat him. I'm not so sure. I'm not, I'm not so sure he's really gonna. Oh, high knee! Goes for the same thing he did against Marvin Eastman. Tons of strike. And folks, if you haven't seen that one a while ago, oh, that oh, was oh, 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 What a combination! Terry Martin is out. That's it. Vitor Belfort. 